Okay, we're back for a little season 14 action. Uh, we're going to be playing Indianapolis. Ha ha ha. Or season 15, or week 15. Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, standings here. You see, I've already clinched the division. Miami, looking for a playoff berth. they got a good chance to make a playoff. Interestingly enough, Buffalo has done very poorly this season. Uh, of course, a couple losses to me don't help, but they would have only been 7-8 and eight if they beat me twice. So, looking like we might not even see them playoff. Since it looks like uh, they're going over, but Houston's just behind them. Uh, San Diego is on top right now. So, uh, they're looking very good. West. San Francisco's already tied up the uh, NFC West. Rams trying to get the playoffs going there. Minnesota's still on top. And the Giants sitting at 11-3. Okay. So here comes the game that in most times would be completely meaningless. And a showcase of poor football. But due to the fact that, it, well, it is kind of completely meaningless anyway. Because you got me, I've already clinched the division, and Indianapolis is in the cellar, so <laughs> it still is meaningless. Hopefully, it'll be some decent football. The computer, of course, is going to play far better when uh, they're going to play far. Oh crap! Clarence Verdon starts off with an injury. He's hit pretty hard, as you can see. He turned uh, Caucasian when he was on the field, so I mean that's a pretty serious injury. Uh, <laughs> Luckily, he, tur he turned back right after, you know. So that can be a rough, uh, a rough setback there. Okay, so <clears throat> Albert Bentley is a menace to society. We gotta watch him. Jeff George is not such a menace to society. Although in that case, he was. And I got blocked, so I couldn't sack the crap out of him like I wanted to. That first Bentley play is the one that frightens me. The rest of them don't scare me. Other oh, offensive line it sucks. Uh, it might suck, but unfortunately, my secondary kind of sucks. They march it down pretty good against me here. Yep. Not doing such a hot job just yet. We'll get on it though. Bentley. Good, we were able to stop him pretty quick there. Okay, have we stalled out this drive yet? Hopefully we have. No, he's going to pass. Because I called the run version. Good, I blocked it. So good, we stalled out the drive. They're going to have to go for a field goal with Biasucci, uh, who I am told can often be called Biasucky if you think he's doing poorly. It looks like a bad kick, but it might be too close to matter. No, it definitely mattered. <laughs> okay, excellent. Stephens. Holy crap, he got hit by the entire world on that play. See, I'm kind of torn playing this game. A game is, you know... Not important as this one, because the computer course is playing far better now. Uh, because I've been winning so many games. I'm almost tempted to lose this game intentionally. But I kind of feel bad about throwing a game, you know? I feel like I owe it to my team here to do uh, the best I can. You know, get the best record possible with the uh, Colts. But then again, if I don't go to, or not the Colts, with the Pats. But if I don't go to the Super Bowl, it seems kind of like... Stupid, you know. Anyway, they are definitely covering all my receivers and showing me no mercy. Ha ha! Look at John Stephens. Uh, he's a he's a real hoss, no doubt about it. Yeah, unfortunately. The computer's pissed enough at me for winning so much that uh, they're not going to let me run the ball anymore. I'll tell you what. It's nice that they're not picking my plays, though. Greg McMurtry. Oh, almost a touchdown. And I'm not going to even think of picking a run play because it's not letting me run. So I'm just going to pick a short pass and get sacked. Well, actually, that's not what I wanted to happen, but that's exactly what did happen. Oh, 
Oh, damn it. I'll tell you what, at least Wilson's not getting injured. It's the last thing I need is for Wilson to sustain an injury. Since he's my most confident quarterback. <laughs> Sorry, Grogan. You kind of suck. If I'd have known how good Wilson was before, I wouldn't have been using Grogan. I mean, look, I naturally assume that the, st the backup is going to be inferior to the starter. And, and, and I guess in certain categories it's true. But in passing speed and accuracy of passing, Mark Wilson is, is superior. So, you know. And they're just those moonshots of Grogan, they get intercepted with an undue amount of uh, frequency. There we go. That's a dangerous play. Even on a call play, it gets a couple... Well, he didn't get yards, but... He didn't get murdered as badly as I would have liked have him to have. Yeah, Albert Bentley's pretty quick in this game. He's like, uh... What's his name's twin? Well, over in the middle of Pat Beach. Look, even when he's difficult by the computer, he runs like crap. I know that the, uh, the Leonardite, uh, dot com, which is a very funny site as far as uh, talking about Tecmo uh, Super Bowl here says that yeah, it's his worst enemy Pat Beach because he doesn't block well and he's slow and I definitely think the slow thing has been borne out however the Colts are marching it down the field against me which is slightly embarrassing ah oh, crap come on get Jeff George it's not like he's any good anyway Oh, the Bentley. Oh, Al maneuver me. Big Al. Yeah, I'm definitely tempted to throw this game. Because the computer is just getting downright cheap. And this is one of those games that I could lose, and it wouldn't really have a butterfly effect of getting anybody into the playoffs or getting anybody out. The Colts, at this point, are pretty much removed from all playoff contention. There's no way they get into the playoffs. Ha! Oh. Great job there, Stone Hands. Good job, receivers. Really? You thought I'd go up the gut? Mm, I still got a couple of yards out of it, so I guess I can be happy with that. Yes! <laughs> Intentional ground in there, baby. Receiver wasn't even on his feet. <laughs> Alright, second and eight. Do I got anybody good open? I certainly do not. Have a little blocking there, guys. No? Alright. Looks like I'm going to have to punt it away. Punt a little weak there so we don't uh, get the old touchback. You know, it is entirely within the realm of possibility that they will score off this. I just know it in my heart. Uh, crooked backs formation. Okay. I called the pass version. Oh, whatever. Like Jesse Hester's Jerry Rice passing double coverage or catching double coverage. Get out of here. Oh, well. Okay, well. I'm barely keeping it neck and neck with the Colts, to be honest. I'm not playing very well. The computer's jacked up the difficulty to where I really need to be on my A game. And it's really hard to motivate myself with the freaking Colts and with the fact that I've already clinched the division. Yeah, see, they're all over me. The Colts don't play like this naturally. Go for this pass, it never works, and it works. Very nice, 50 yards for Big Mark. Pitch it to Steffens. Ho, 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 wow. Nice run. Holy crap. Steffens, he's definitely got the speeds on him. 
The defense is just uh, going out of their mind, though, with quickness. I mean, they're not playing like the Colts should be playing. That's for sure. No Colts team I ever played, anyway. Oh, Wilson goes long. Ten-yard scamper. Good for you, Mark. <clears throat> he looks like a little guy there, huh? There's the kick, and it's good. And we're up by seven against the Colts. I don't know, my pride doesn't want to let me lose the Colts. Like I said, I should just throw this damn game. But I'm not going to do it. Because I want to try to... Man, a 15-1 record, that'd be great. Now, of course, I get killed in the playoffs, but a 15-1 record is still pretty good. Albie Bentley. Uh, he's dangerous. He's dangerous because he vampired all of uh, what's-his-name's statistics. Eric Dickerson, who is actually quite good. And Albert Bentley is not that good, and also Albert Bentley is injury prone. Phew. Good, I'm glad the computer's completely stupid and doesn't go after the wide open guys. And don't tell me it's because I'm pressuring them, because we all know that the computer is cheap as it gets. I'm sure they can auto think pick the different guys. It's like when people used to play StarCraft or whatever, the computer could do 200 things at once, you know? Oh, well. 14 and 7. 14 to 7. I don't know what I'm talking about. Irving Fryer! <laughs> whatever. Fred Young. Who the hell is Fred Young? And I don't know. I don't remember exactly because I didn't catch it. Is his name spelled with two Ds? If so, why? Albert Bentley is not going to get many yards this game because I'm out, I'm watching out for him. I was hoping they do that. Ivy Ivy Joe. Ivy Joe Hunter there. Good, called it. I hate that play. That's why I have it because it's such a pain in the rear end to defend against. Crooked backs formation. And he's going to pass, much to my dismay. Pick it off. Ah, oh, Jeez. Is Albert Brooks some kind of Superman? I don't think his name is actually Albert Brooks. I think that's... I think that's a producer for the James Bond movies. Are you going to scramble, Jeff? Dork. He had three open guys. I don't see why you had it felt like you had to scramble there. Gonna do it again. Man, that's annoying. Hand off, and that's good enough for the first down. Well, he's really murdering time there. There's the guy with the cover. Damn it. Okay. Colts tied up with Jesse Hester off my interception. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh. I think I accidentally went out of bounds there. The chances are I'm going to fumble. And the Colts are going to score. No, maybe not. Maybe there will be no fumbling to speak of. Oh, I thought Stephens was going, going long there. Guess not. I can't complain with a 40-yard run. Now he's going long. Goodbye, chances of Colts winning. Ha ha. Good. I mean, I really think I should lose before the playoffs, but I'm not going to lose a freaking Colts. I don't care if the computer wants to cheat for him or not. 
they don't deserve to win games. I mean, the Patriots don't either, but since they're controlling them, I guess they're going to win a few. But, hmm. See, what did I tell you about Albert Bentley? What did I tell you? That guy is fragile, okay? And he's got the worst hangnail ever right now. And that's going to uh, affect him, of course. Alright. Let's see, what do we got going here? Damn it, Jeff George, why are you always scrambling? I mean, I know you know you that you can't pass, but it's really annoying. Get a lip pad here, man. It was wide open on that one, huh? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Ah, call play. Good. Calling the timeout in. Third and nineteen to go. The uh, pick McSwain gets a McSwanky pick off on that one. Very nice. Thirty seconds remaining in the half. Pass to Eric Sievers. Touchdown. Good. I'm glad I ran up the score on these jerks. They deserve it. They're lucky I didn't, uh... I don't know. What could I have done to them? Lucky I didn't slash the tires. Yep. Yeah. Two touchdown win to the Colts. For... For the Patriots. Oh, my God. It must be a little too early in the morning here. And there we go, 28 to 14, final score. New England victorious. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I was able to hold off Bentley. That's good. And injure him. I guess it's good. I don't know. Mark Wilson did a fine job. Only throwing one INT, and let's face it, that was bullcrap. Uh, well, sort of. Yeah, statistically a good game. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you next time for a couple more meaningless season games.